Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Straight man, drag fan. When I say straight man, drag fan, it's not a disclaimer to say, I ain't gay. It's just, you know, I'm putting it out there that I enjoy this, this content, the drag content. And, you know, because I mean, first of all, I'm comfortable in my skin. I don't give a damn. I watch what I want to watch. I just want to let y'all know I'm an ally. I've been told that, um, more people like me should come out and do content like straight men who watch it. Y'all should let it not let everybody know, but be comfortable with doing it. And like, they like to see my perspective on things and stuff. Like, um, I am an ally. So big shout out to the LGB, whatever QRS. I don't mean to disrespect y'all. I'm sorry. If I don't get all your acronyms and letters and all that. Right. You know what I mean? But, um, big shout out to y'all. I mean, I did go to a pride parade or a festival and I got caught eating a hot dog. <laughs> At the property, it's funny. My wife was like, "Yo, you know, you eating a hot dog." I'm looking like, "Oh Lord, how many people just, how many dudes just hit watch me?" Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> true story, man. I ain't know, you know, they had food trucks. And I got a hot dog, so it, it didn't dawn on me. And it's like I got caught. Look, look at me. Oh shit, I'm caught. I, I ain't even think about that. But yo, I want to do this right here because. It's drag season again, you know. I think it's um the Boulay Brothers got their thing going on with Dragula and RuPaul got what drag UK going on. And one of my favorite parts about watching it is seeing the drag names. Seeing the names out there. And I was like, I like the cool names, so I said I'm gonna do a video about this. Cause I was like, yo, you know, I wanna see some good drag names, so this is gonna be the best. I'm only going to do 20 of them. I, I said I was going to do 100. My wife was like, just do 20. Just break it down. You're like, you can't overexert yourself. Like, I'm going to just pick. These are the 20 I picked. There ain't no order, but let's check them out. See some of these drag names. Izzy Uncut. That's a funny drag name to me. It's like Izzy Uncut. Y'all y'all get the hyperbole. I don't know the word I'm trying to use. The um, That's funny. Izzy Uncut. That's funny to me. I've seen. Asia Consent. That, that's a crazy drag name right there. A funny drag name. Or the best drag name. I don't know how y'all want to put this. This is going to be the funniest or the best. I'll come up with that later. But I think when I was watching um, Dragula, and I said, damn, that's a, that's a cool name. And I was like, damn. So that's what it was. It was that one. Oh, look at this one. A mandatory meeting. Now, that's a good drag name. That's funny to me. I like that one, yo. That's a funny drag name. Mandatory meeting. That's a mandatory meeting. See, I am saying when they put them together, like I don't, I don't like this the, the weird, crazy ones. I just like the, the ones that mean something. They got like a meaning to it. that sound funny. Y'all get it, man. Tea or coffee. Look at that. Tea or like tea or coffee. I like that. Tea or coffee. I think she um, got better because she used to be kind of in. She got a little better. I'll be on that drag. I'll be watching that shit, yeah. Oh my girl. <laughs> that was one of my favorite ones, yo. Um, I forgot what season or what it was on. I know I seen it, but the name Ermagur, Ermagur, like oh my God, Ermagur. I like that one, man. That was funny to me. I like that name. A lot of these names be funny, man. Let's see another one. Tara Hyman it ain't a good picture. It was kind of hard finding pictures of some of these queens too. Like a lot of them didn't make the list because I couldn't find pictures of them on Google. But Tara Hyman, um. Cheva T. Now this one, this one I um was watching UK Drag Race a couple of days ago, and this one I decided I like I definitely got to do this because I wanted to do it before, but it's like like charity, like charity with this Cheva T. That's pretty cool. That's a that's a dope name. You put that together well. That's that's what I, that's what I knew I was gonna make the video a couple of days ago when I seen it. I was like, oh, I got to make this video now. Cheva T. Chanel O'Connor. That was a cool name. Um, Chanel O'Connor is, I think, like Chanel, Chanel O'Connor, Chanel, Chanel, I'll rap to Chanel O'Connor. They, she just passed away not by last year sometime, but that's a playoff they name, of her name because they're from the same place. And um, Chanel O'Connor is a damn, is a bitch, <laughs> to tell you the truth. On her season of Drag Race, she... Um, she look mean. You can tell her, man, when she out of makeup, you can see it in her eyes. Like, you used to be a bad little boy, yo. I'm telling you. 
Chanel O'Connor, you, you evil. But I like his drag queen. You, you paint well. See, I know the term, y'all. Um, Tasha Salad. That's crazy. The thing is, when I was um trying to come up with some, find some names, I was looking them up. I seen Tasha Salad. I, I look at this, I'm like, yo, that look like Roxy. And my wife was like, that is Roxy. I'm like, it is? She's like, yeah, that's Roxy playing Tasha Salad in the Snatch Game. I'm like, oh. Then I did. So I shouldn't even have this one up here. Because that ain't Tasha Salad. That's Roxy playing Tasha Salad. But that's still a cool name. That's what this is about. This is about the funniest names, man. The funniest names in drag. I'm trying to, you know. This is funny to me. We'll see another one. I might put this on the show Friday. Dixie Normus. Now, that's a funny drag name, yo. Dixie Normus. I think they use something like this in the, what do you call that? What's that man named Austin Powers movie? Dixie Normus. But that, that's a funny drag name. Dixie Normus. Hold up. Free the slaves, yo. Free the slaves. Free the slaves. I, I don't know. I've never seen this one before. This is one of the ones I was, um, I looked up a list. They had like a list of funny drag names. When I had, my, when I had them in my mind, I knew a few of my head, but then when I seen that name right there, so when I when I seen this one, I automatically thought of Relisha Slaves. Relisha Slaves is on, I think, this season of Drag Race Yukon. I mean, you say Yukon, UK season six, and this the one that looked like um, Rihanna. I think she from the islands or somewhere down there too. But Relisha Slaves and Free the Slaves. That's crazy. That's when I see. I ain't had. I, I should have wrote them down. But that's when I did. When I seen Frida Slaves, I was like, oh, release your slaves. There was another one because they're on the same. A lot of them come from UK that I seen. They got cool names. All right, please. We'll see what else. Sarah Pelagic. Wow. Big shout out to her, man. She said, look, I'm going to do drag in, in a wheelchair. And the, the name Sarah Pelagic, you can't beat that, man. That's that's a good, funny pun, yo. Or I think, is that the word I want to use? A pun? That's a good pun for a drag name. Sarah Pelagic. This is the, the top 20. or Not the top 20, but it's 20. I mean, that was 13, right? This 14 right here. Head of Lettuce. That was a good name. Head of Lettuce. I like that. It's pretty dope. It speaks for itself. I only know that one. Sharon Needles. I think this was like the first. Like This was back. This this the old drag queen. I don't know the age. But I'm talking about like back in the days. Sharon Needles was... um. Like one of the first ones I seen, my wife put me on to it, um, made me watch. I'm like, I don't know, but I, I remember that name because it sounded like sharing needles, it's like sharing needles. Like that's crazy. That's like that's like one of the first drag queens I seen that season. She was on or before that. Sigourney Beaver, <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all remember Sigourney Weaver? So Sigourney Sigourney Beaver, that was kind of funny. It's kind of low brow, but it still worked for what I'm doing here. Fair enough. See, when I seen this, I'm like, oh, that's dope. That's fair enough. Then my mind automatically went to Pheromone. Pheromone. Um, Pheromone probably one of the prettiest drag queens. Her and what's what's the other one name? Plastic Tierra. This Pheromone, I have had her on the show. Well, not had her personally, but had her on the segment on the show we do called D or No D. We do this. We do a segment on there like doing the gay part of the show we used to do that on talk that talk um but we try to um find uh i put up you trying to find it explains itself d or no d and i what it was it's a an attempt to, to show you that beauty has art and it's like to show you that you can't pick which one has one or don't who was born with it and who, was, who wasn't born with one and we put up like transgender models and drag queen models and you'll see, man, you you won't be you'll be surprised how many people got caught up by thinking like, no D, no D or D. And what's what's her name? Fairmont. She people they be like, no, I swear to God, it's a dude. I'm like, hey, she was born with a D. I don't know what they will identify as a, a D or no D, but I know they was born with it. So this is a little game we play, D or no D. Might have bring that back. Um, so she was one of the first ones. She been on the show plenty of times. Different outfits, whatever we throw in there, they be like, "Hold on, oh no, man, like, ah, I got you there, <laughs> nigga." So we had fun on the show. 
This one right here, Penetration. That was a funny name. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Penetration, Penetration. Yo, 19. And number 20 is Courtney Act. I like that name, too. I, I remember this one a little bit. Like, Caught in the Act. That was funny, boy. Courtney Act, Caught in the Act. I don't know, man. But that's what I wanted to do, man. I wanted to give you the, the best or the funniest drag queen names. Because it's like one of my favorite parts when I find out a cool name when they come out. You know, when they first come out on Drag Race or whatever. And, and yo, know, losing my damn voice. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about stuff like this. Sometimes, sometimes we talk about stuff like this. Other than that, man, I got all type of other content on this channel. But um, we have fun over here, man. Um, love everybody. If you don't love yourself, how you gonna love somebody else? Ain't no roof say. Ah, you see, I be on that. Yeah. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this paper that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and I let your boy Heist Man the Foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.